I'm Duncan Terrace. Um, I'm the chair of the New Zealand Law Society Property Law Section Executive. Mm, certainly. On the face of it, one would think that it's a logical um, clause to have that if there's a manifest injustice, things can be remedied. The problem with this particular clause is it's a new concept that actually allows the court to change ownership of land in New Zealand. Historically, there's always been the concept of what you've already referred to as indefeasibility. What that means is once you're registered on the title as the owner, nothing can upset that. That equally applies to mortgages. So if you own it and the bank has a mortgage on it, that's absolute. If there was some form of injustice historically, that could, would result in a claim being made against the state guarantee fund and there would be an entitlement ordinarily to compensation. What this new provision and concept provides for is to allow for the court to essentially change the register, as in it can take you off the register and as a consequence of that, if there was a mortgage, it would also result in removal of that mortgage. Now these would only occur in extreme situations, but the concern is in that situation, the bank loses its recourse to be able to call on the security and do a sale and recoup its losses, recoup the amount of borrowing. So that in itself creates too much uncertainty and we believe that there are adequate protections already in place with the current compensation regime, uh, albeit with some modifications that we've also made in our submission. It's a very good point and the manifest injustice provision in the draft bill has certain criteria for the court to take into consideration. But the problem with that is it is always going to be a very subjective test depending on the particular circumstances. And therein lies the uncertainty, we just don't know. So I'm not saying that the court would be, uh, would overly use that provision or use it lightly, but the fact that it exists at all undermines the certainty of our torrent system and fundamental indefeasibility. It would certainly create challenges and, and yet again, uh, more considerations to take into account, the advice you can give a client, and also the banks already impose a significant responsibility back on the lawyers for any loss, so there is also potential there for a greater liability and responsibility being imposed on lawyers by banks. With the introduction of electronic registration that's been with us now for the best, well, more than 15 years actually, there was very uh, extensive considerations given to fraud and how to prevent that or minimise that, especially with the abolition of the duplicate paper title, which most other jurisdictions still have. As part of that, there was a very strict regime of verification of identity established by the Registrar General of Lands and that regime has been extremely robust. We have only, I believe, had one incidence of fraud, and that was actually over 10 years ago. So to impose another layer would be, in my view, another element of duplication and unnecessary additional costs for the consumer.